Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have started with the Poisson distribution. In this learning video, we are going to take the properties of Poisson distribution. So without wasting a time, let us take the very first property on this distribution, namely mean. Okay, so let, let x be a discrete random variable x be a discrete random variable having having Poisson distribution having Poisson distribution f of x is equal to do you remember the Poisson distribution with with probability with probability function with probability function f of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon x factorial and this x varying from 1 to n so on ok so 0 0 0 1 2 and so on ok so this is the probability function. Now what we are uh, interested in this uh, uh, video lecture is uh, the property and as I told you that we are going to take the mean first. So what is mean? Now mean which is expectation of x which we denoted by mu mean mu is equal to expectation of x and what is expectation of x in this Poisson distribution for a discrete random variable this is nothing but summation of x into f of x right now we have f of x so this mu is equal to summation what is x x is x what is f of x e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon x factorial now you just have to substitute the values of uh, x, x varying from 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. So you can just uh, apply the summation to avoid any confusion I am writing. Okay. So this is equal to, what is it? Put x is equal to 0, 0. Put x is equal to 1. So this is 1, 1 factorial. This is e to the power minus lambda into lambda x is equal to 1 then put x is equal to 2 so this is 2 this is 2 into e to the power minus lambda into lambda square upon factorial 2 plus next would be 3 e to the power minus lambda into lambda cube upon factorial 3 plus and so on is it Nothing new, just substituting the values uh, of x, 0, 1, 2 and so on. So, this is same as, what is it? I can take e to the power minus lambda common from here. And this get cancelled, this 3 get cancelled, so 2 will remain. 2 can be written as 2 factorial. So, this is e to the power minus lambda outside. And what we remain with? Uh, we can actually take out e to the power minus lambda and lambda also because in each and every term we have lambda. So into lambda, what we remain with? 1 plus lambda plus here lambda is gone, square is remaining. 3 factorial, 3 get cancelled, 2 is remaining, 2 can be written as 2 factorial and so on. So this is e to the power minus lambda into lambda. What is this? This is nothing but the expansion for exponential function e to the power lambda. Okay. So here apply the law of indices e to the power minus lambda e to the power plus lambda becomes e to the power 0 so we remain with lambda so here we got mean in the Poisson distribution to be to be lambda okay now to find out uh, so mean is equal to lambda now to find out the variance uh, we need what is variance variance of x is nothing but expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. 
so we have already found out expectation of x that is mu okay what we need to find out expectation of x square so let us find out expectation of x square now now expectation of x square can be found out expectation x equal to 0 to infinity x square f of x is like this okay and then we have to do some uh, adjustment over here in order to get the expectation of x square so we have done the same adjustment when we were discussing about the expectation of x square in uh, binomial distribution also so this is expectation of x so therefore expectation of x square can be written as summation x is equal to 0 to infinity now i am writing this x square as x square plus x into x minus 1 is it can we write like this or can we write like this plus x plus x square minus x it cancel yes so i am writing x square as x plus x into x minus 1 into e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon factorial x okay now after writing this what we are going to do is we are going to separate the terms so it is like summation x is equal to 0 to infinity x into e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon factorial x that is the expectation of x plus here you will get summation x is equal to 0 to infinity yes x into x minus 1 into e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x upon factorial x okay now this is nothing but my expectation of x by the definition so this is expectation of x plus here i can write summation x is equal to 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 into here i will write it as e to the power minus lambda into lambda power x minus 2 plus 2 and here I can write x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial by the property okay now this I can write it as expectation that I have found out lambda plus here you can uh, take out uh, what this x x this gate cancel so from here you can take out lambda here it is lambda x minus 2 plus lambda. So I can write this lambda x minus 2 plus 2 lambda power x minus 2 into lambda square. So just take out lambda square outside and we remain with summation x is equal to 0 to infinity. Is it? e to the power minus lambda into lambda to the power x minus 2 upon x minus 2 factorial okay the moment i do such uh, such adjustment i should write it as 2 because for negative number factorial is not defined so it must be summation up to this it is like okay 0 factorial okay but when i write this x factorial as x into x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial it's the summation should run from 2 to infinity okay now continuing this So what I am getting here is uh, expectation of x square is equal to lambda plus lambda square then now apply again now again apply this put x is equal to 2 so it would be 0 e to the power minus lambda plus put x is equal to 3 so this is Okay, summation won't run over e to the power minus lambda. So I can I can write e to the power minus lambda outside. E to the power minus lambda outside. And the remaining values are because in each term e to the power minus lambda would be common. So this is 1 upon 0 factorial that is 1. So this is 1 plus what is the next one? 3. So this is lambda by 3 minus 1 1 factorial 
then lambda square by 2 factorial 4 minus 2 is 2 plus lambda q upon 3 factorial plus and so on what is this lambda plus lambda square e to the power minus lambda what is this this is again expansion of exponential e to the power lambda so this is lambda plus lambda square this is my expectation of x square okay now I have got expectation of x square now we can find out variance therefore variance of x is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so what is my expectation of x square lambda plus lambda square minus expectation of x whole square expectation of x was lambda this we have found out square so this get cancelled so what we get here is so here we get variance of x is equal to lambda and earlier we have seen the expectation mean is also lambda so what we can say here is that in the Poisson distribution mean is same as variance okay and you can find out the standard deviation also standard deviation sigma is equal to under root of variance of x so sigma is equal to under root lambda okay so in this video lecture we have uh, taken three properties on Poisson distribution namely mean variance and standard deviation so question may be asked like show that mean and variance are same in the Poisson distribution and such type of uh, problems or such type of questions is asked in the uh, competitive examinations also like it and all if uh, there are the topic the such type of topics are there in the syllabus of such examination okay so thank you for watching this learning video and in the very next learning video we are going to take the moment generating function and some other properties as well okay so thank you